Okay, this is a quick video to show you how you can take your work from Onshape, which doesn't have a very good appearance functionality at the moment, into Fusion 360, where you can utilize its really good appearances and render workspaces. So let's jump straight in. I've got a piece of work here on Onshape. Uh, this might be familiar to some of you, I hope. And with this piece of work, all I'm gonna do is on the assembly I'm on right now, and you can do this for individual parts if you want to. So if you go to the parts studio, you can get individual parts from there. I'm gonna go from my assembly, I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to export. And from the export tools, you want to select IGES file type or the format. So the format IGES and press export. Now this will take a moment for it to process to convert the file and then to prepare it for download and then it will appear in your downloads and you can see I've done a few tests of a few different file types here to find the one that's most suited for what we're going to be doing. You then want to jump over to Fusion 360 and in Fusion 360 you want to with your data panel activated you want to press upload. Now you can either select the file manually or from a folder drag and drop it. So I'm dragging and dropping mine from my <coughs> Windows Explorer into here and it's the same file I exported there, assembly one, file type IGES. What's going to happen here, and you can, by the way, at this point, you can change the location where you're putting it. You don't have to put it where you've got open. You can change it there. What's going to happen is I'm going to press upload and it's going to appear on my left here and I'm going to get a progress bar here. And this can take anything from a few seconds to even a minute or two because it's uploading it, it's processing it, it's converting the file into a Fusion 360 file type, and it's getting it ready. So this could take a little a minute, depending on how complex your design is. Simple design, quick, really complex design, might take a little while. Okay, mine took about a minute there, but now it's ready to go. And all I'm gonna do on a blank workspace, but you can do this on an existing uh, workspace if you've got an existing uh, file open that you wanna drag and import the part into. I'm gonna just drag it in and place it here. It's now in place, it's asking me whereabouts I want to put it, just like when you import any part into a Fusion 360 file. I'm going to press OK, and now all I've got to do is press the keyboard shortcut A for appearance, and I can go through and find an appearance I want to use. So I'm going to jump down and look at some painted, or in fact, I'm going to look at some plastics. Uh, I've got some nylon for this one, so I might go for nylon there. Uh, so we've also got ooh, some captain, let's do some captain on the front foot surface there. Uh, let's go for ooh, look at some woods, what woods have we got? Uh, some mahogany, we've got some semi-gloss oak on there. And you can see how all these appearances are being added. And this is why I do highly rate the appearances feature of Fusion 360. If you want to, you can, can go in and edit that. So I've got that there. I'm gonna press the A key to get my appearances back up. That was my oak semi-gloss, which is here. I can right click on that and I can edit. And here I can adjust the scale. So I can reduce the scale down to make it look like a much larger piece. Maybe adjust the wood grain on that. You can do this for uh, roughness, uh, reflectance. So if you've got a glossy material, so you can really play around with that. And from here, you can take this into the render workspace and you can really make those materials look realistic. You can also render this and there's a separate video coming for rendering. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. All right, good luck.